now we need to create crane lifting elevation view for that we need crane elevation view already we prepared this one just select control c and go to the project folder control v and you can paste it like this we need to make this one exactly this is the elevation of this structure we need to place this crane from this point to 16 meter so exactly that is in center go to the line tool just shift right click mid between two points just click this point and this point you will get it midpoint press f5 you will get it like this select this one make it like this at the same time select this line also make it like this because this is the ground so select this crane and go to the move command just click this least point and you can paste it like this you can use any other support also but i just place it here like this now go to the offset make it 16 meter and offset it like this now we need to place this crane exactly in this point go to the move command click this point and just place it exactly the perfect perpendicular so this is from the structure this is the 16 meter this is the radius of this crane now we don't want this line then i am going to make the crane length is means boom length is 44 500 if you click this one you can see already i made this 44 500 44 500 so you will get it this mark already i made this 44 500 so you can place it and if you need more length you if you want any other boom length you can fix it go inside of the block editor and you can fix it so now it is ready and if you make like this see here it is hitting this point so we need to place this one exactly this point for that i just go to the circle tool and i click this point make a circle for 44 500 and so this is a boom length but we need to place it exactly this part so just go to the extend tool just extend this line and select this one click this rotation parameter and just place it like this but our dropping point is here the main line main lifting line is here we need to make this main left lifting line approximately here so for that select this one right click and go to the properties make it the angle here it is 66 angle okay if you made 67.7014066 if you made this angle this one slowly slowly you need to make adjust and you need to find out which is a perfect angle so if i just enter now you can see we will get it exactly the point is here okay if you extend this point it will go through exactly this point so we need it like this so now we need to place our hook block and all hook block also already we made dynamic blocks select this one and just control c and go to this project folder and control v select this one click this point and you can place it exactly this point now you can lift just click here and you can make like this very easily now we don't want this line 
even this one also we don't want delete it this one no need this much length just place it like this now it is ready we need to make our block this is the load block and select this load block and place it here somewhere it's like this now we need to show the sling and all sling when you make the sling you just need to use polyline i just go to the polyline and just pick somewhere else here no need to no need exact also and go to the width make it 50 mm width okay so again 50 mm if you want to reduce you can reduce also and i just make this one length approximately 3 meter and now go to the rotate command select this one enter and i just click here make it 45 degree or 60 degree or 30 degree which is your better rotation better sling angle you can place it i just go to rotate again and i make 15 more degree also so this is the 60 degree sling i just go to the trim tool and i trim i remove okay then i needed this one this side also go to the mirror tool select this one enter and i click here and i click here enter so this is more than enough and this line now we don't want if you want to add additional things also you can add it or directly if you want to join this one you can show like this so this is exactly this is a sling and this is hook block hook block is connected here and we can use shackle and some other things also we can use but in this case we don't want to show exactly when we make annotation work when you make text and leader line that time we can just mark this is this location this one is required so this is the way we can prepare this is the installing position okay when you install that time this much length height is required and this is like this but when you unload that time is different okay you have this same thing it is here something like this how to make that one also we will see first we need this crane just copy this crane and place it somewhere else here and this one this is our trailer we need to place it another side for that just mirror and we don't want the object okay just make it like this and see here it is placed somewhere else here okay you can measure the dimension also where it is go to the linear and i just click here and i measure somewhere else here so this is almost 7 to 7 4 point 5 7 to 7 4 point 5 approximately so i just make a line like this go to the offset tool 7 to 7 4 point 5 approximately just click it like this and delete it and this location we need this block select this block and click this point and place it here so this area we placed from this point also 16 meter so i just make a line this is the point go to the just select this one make it like this and go to your line tool and just click here make a line like this because this is the ground level both are same level is required and go to the offset tool 16 meter radius 
so just offset 16 meter and select this one click this point and place it here so now it is ready exactly it is available here in 60 meter see here if you extend this one it will go through the point so now we need to place our sling this sling we can place it here also i need to show the two slings same sling you can copy just copy any one sling and go to the copy tool just click here and this is the lifting lug something like this okay you can place it in between two points no problem it between two points just select this little bit okay you can place it this is approximately no need exact now it is coming like this you can slightly you can increase also or if you need exactly in this point actually it is recording exactly this point so just select this one and you can place it like that. select this one go to the mirror tool just click like this and make like this now this line we don't want and we need this hook block so just select this one copy and just click this point and place it here somewhere else just it is ready so select this one just click like this you can place it approximately like this okay so this is unloading from trailer and this is installing inside so this one we don't want now so this is the way to prepare elevation view 